Okay, so in this video, we're going to be doing a little experiment. So let's go ahead and watch this video right now. Now, this character is the reference, the human reference that the face good live drive is going to try and copy. So that being said, let's go ahead and press play. Artificial Intelligence, AI. Okay, I actually lied. This character is not real. <laughs> it is a CG model being driven by a face good live drive, face good helmet, and face good live drive avatar software. The actual face, though, as you can see, is deep faked in. So deep face live, the same technology I'm using here in the channel. Now, what's interesting about this is I want to know your opinion. When I told you that the first one you were about to watch was the reference, did your brain start to think that it was fake? Or did you actually think it was a real person? Now, Facegood could have easily just deep faked the entire facial animation. But I think the key takeaway in this demonstration is that if you have a believable face, photorealistic human face, and you combine that with face good live drive, you can get a pretty darn realistic result. So what's cool about this technology looking at this now is that it has a potential to change the way people do facial animation. Your indie game studios, your filmmakers, you know, your AAA studios. That's exciting stuff. And maybe in five years or so, this technology would come to everybody pretty much available to everyone. Because right now, obviously, the Facebook Live Drive, as far as I know, is only available in the enterprise version of their Avatari. Obviously, pricing is not out yet. But man, this is some crazy tech. And let's go ahead and keep watching it here. <laughs> Now this one right here is just the CG performance with the face good avatar. Artificial intelligence, 简称 AI. AI 在我们的生活中已经无处不在，只是我们忽略了它的存在。就好像这期视频，在AI的帮助下，我创造出了一个可以以假乱真的角色。所以，到底什么是AI？If I look at this video right now in a pause it, we can still kind of tell that this person is not real. It's computer generated, but. If you add the deep fake on top of that, oh, this is a little bit blurry. If I eat, if I add the deep fake on top of that using the animation from the face good live drive, honestly, I could I could be really fooled. If I just saw this video of him talking by itself, I would have thought that was a real person. But then again, that's just me. I'm not really like a professional animator or anything like that. But that definitely fooled me when I first saw it. This is the after deep face. So again, I explained to you how this all worked. So I know I, I kind of made a video about face good live drive. It basically takes away the tracking, the hand animating. That's it takes all of that away. You basically put a camera on your head, you start talking and it will generate facial animation. Now for me, I pipe mine directly to an Unreal Engine meta human and that's how I get the performance out. Now for this one, I'm not sure if this is a meta human or not. It does have symptoms of a meta human to be honest the face but I, i'm not 100 percent sure but man this is some really exciting stuff we're living in let me know though let me know in the comments below what you think about this little demo from face good did it fool you in the beginning when i said that that was a real person or maybe it didn't and if it didn't let me know what gave it away